Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. We bless you. You are faithful. We honor you. We bless you. Zebra Kutos we bless you to you be all the glory in the name of jesus we're going to pray in tongues please hold your hands together please guys come up you can come just hold the mic worship team you can excuse them for a while um benga come up promise we're going to pray very seriously in tongues remember i told us we are pushing some things in the spirit praise the lord after we've praised let's pray there's still space kenny Femi, pastor alpha come up Let's just feel the might. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I'd like you to lift your voice. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Shout it again. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every stronghold attempting to stop prophecy from manifesting in my life. I challenge you right now. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, Shapa Keto, Papa Keto, Papa Seki Pato Super Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access upon which Satan wants to oppress me, I plead the blood and I declare my liberty now. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, 
of the fathers affecting my lineage and wanting to affect my life I decree and declare I've been called out of every tribe every tongue every nation release me now release my destiny lift your voice and pray release me in the name of Jesus the ordinances of darkness the spirit of ancestry Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. The spirit of hardship. The spirit of a hard life. I decree and declare that the Lord judges you over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit of a hard life. The spirit of hardship. A hard life. Jesus every force of darkness sitting on my glory stopping it from manifesting I curse you in the name of Jesus lift your voice and prophesy I command my lights to shine I command my lights to shine the Bible says arise shine for your light is come I decree and declare it's my season of triumph Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. One more time in the name of Jesus. Every force stopping my helpers from reaching me through bad reports, through divination, through misguided reports. I command in the name of Jesus that the Lord is against you. Release my helpers to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Whether you understand what you are praying or not, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't let us shake it. 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 Don't let us shake it.
Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time, the set time, set time, the set time. Hallelujah. I like you to pray this one with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every spirit that makes men trivialize my giftings. That make men trivialize the anointing on my life. That makes men trivialize what God is doing to me. I come against you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's my season of celebration. Lift your voice and prophesy. The spirit that causes men to trivialize what you represent. To trivialize what God is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, everything that should be in my life now and was hijacked by the enemy, I place a demand in the name of Jesus. Locate my destiny now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, lift your voice and pray. Like the bones in the valley of the I command let bones be joined to bones. Opportunity joined to opportunity. Favor joined to favor. Say after me in the name of Jesus Every force of darkness Programmed to kill my prayer life Programmed to kill my passion for God Programmed to kill my appetite for the world I come against you right now. Lift your voice and redeem your prayer life. Lift your voice and redeem your, your world life. Hallelujah. Everyone will pray this, but the brothers, I want you to pray this. Praise the Lord. Brothers, when we raise this prayer and I see any brother looking at me and you are not praying, I walk up to you and hold your hand. It's a serious prayer. Say in the name of Jesus, the grace for speedy establishment. Lord, release it upon my life. Lift your voice and pray. The grace that causes men to be established on time. There is a cause of darkness that causes men to be established late. At 40, you are still in your father's house. At 40, you are still living from hand to mouth. It's a cause. Please pray. Shabbat 
Establish me. Send me help from Zion. Establish me on time, on time, on time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone pray this, but I want our sisters to pray this with all your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 The spirit of unnecessary lateness. The spirit of unnecessary lateness in life. Financial lateness. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. It should happen on time. It should happen on time. There is a time allocated. Every time is not convenient. There is a time allocated. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus father, father I know it is within your power to, your turn to turn my life around I ask you in the name of Jesus turn my life around lift your voice and pray change my story to my life around pray pray do a new thing do a new thing what has not been done before not the same kind of miracle not the same kind of breakthrough do a new thing something that has never happened before do a new thing change my life turn it around oh God Let me add this one more prayer. He says, Son of man, can this bone And the prophet said, Honestly, I've been a prophet. So prophesying is not something that is new, but this for this case, I don't know. And then he said, Prophesy. He didn't say discuss, he didn't say cry. In one minute, I'm not going to tell you what to say, but I want you to stand and look at your destiny. I want you to prophesy, carry the word of God like a drug, put it on your destiny. My destiny, I speak to you. You are alive, hear the word of the Lord. I command you to rise, I command you to grow. I program favor in you. Pray. I program breakthrough in you. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak to my destiny. You are a manifestation of the word of God. You are a manifestation of the faith of God. You are the manifestation of the goodness of God. I take away pain from my destiny. I take away regrets from my destiny. I take away sorrow from my destiny. I prophesy goodness. I prophesy joy unspeakable, full of glory.
lift your hands. You shall shall you lift your hands. In the name of Jesus, you have prayed. I decree over your life. The Lord has declared that this is the year of triumph. We are angry and we are insisting that it must happen. Therefore, I decree and I declare that if there is anyone under the sound of my voice, under any kind of siege that will not let you see the faithfulness of God, I decree and I declare right now that power leaves your life right now. That force leaves your life right now. Hallelujah. We're about to listen to the word. While your hands are lifted, I want to do an impartation of understanding. Listen. Most people think they know, they understand scripture. It's not true. I decree and I declare, I stretch my hands towards you. May the spirit of understanding, capacity to comprehend the systems of the kingdom, I release it upon you right now. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I open your understanding. I command your mind to be receptive. I decree that your spirit will be the signal in the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down if you can. God bless you. Good evening. Brothers and sisters, the weeks that are coming will really mean business. You know, I've been saying this. I know it in my spirit when a reality has been declared to manifest from the realm of the heavens. But you know that it is not yet your experience. There is no believer who sits down knowing what God has ordained for your life. And watching the enemy play games with your life and you sit down and hope things will change no sir you have to engage with understanding engage with understanding until that which is yours comes to you the Bible says right from the days of John the Baptist and until now he says the kingdom suffered violence and the violent the violent spiritually violent those who will insist and say, I'm not taking anything less than this promise of God's word. They are the ones who take it by force. I am passionate about results. I never, never associate with anything that does not have capacity to produce results. I am a result-driven person. This is a result-driven ministry. The fierceness of life does not allow for stories and grammar. People want real results in their lives. And let me tell you this. If you're a man of God here, listen to me. No matter what you claim to be doing, if it does not translate into genuine results, you are wasting people's time. It's as simple as that. Herein is our Father glorified. 15 verse 8, John hearing this is how God takes glory from men when ye bear much fruit when your results are notable beyond argument notable beyond sentiment he said by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples you will prove that you have sat down under my mentorship and tutelage your results validate the efficacy of the teaching ministry of the Holy Spirit. When our lives are barren of certain dimensions of results, it's an indictment on the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Results that defy background. Results that defy the expectations of naysayers and men and women who look forward to your failure as their self-fulfilling prophecy but you must contend for it 
hallelujah i've been thinking do you know i've been thinking about you all through the week my mind has just been lord there are dimensions that we must enter before the end of this year the word of god will not go void when god speaks it is within his power to make it happen are we together but it has always been a partnership it's always been that way that the heavens must partner with the earth for realities to be established here and so my assignment is to scan through and make sure that we tie every loose end that can force or that can can sabotage this prophecy from finding expression my job is to search and find out and to remind us and indoctrinate us with the truths that are capable of bringing results results that are predictable results that are consistent results that have nothing to do with the wishes of men hearing is our father glorified hearing if you have ever wondered how god takes glory from men this is how it happens when you bear much fruit much fruit much fruit not little fruit much fruit when results become um become notable notable and consistent it will compel any force of darkness regardless of sentiment to know that the hand of god is upon your life hallelujah every dimension in the spirit has a price every level every dimension of greatness has a price and by the grace of God he has granted us this privilege as a ministry to laboriously open God's people to the demands, the price requirement, the cost dimension of certain results that we need. I am passionate about connecting people's desires to the formula and the principles that have been designed for those outcomes to manifest. It is one thing, if you can tell me what you want, if you can tell me what you desire, I can show you the mystery that is allocated for that result there is a price I wish everything were would just happen without your cooperation but that's not the way the system of God works there is a price the price we are talking about is the price of alignment the price of partnership because you see the operation of the system of the kingdom as we have learned is such that it comes by grace but it says through faith they are not the same thing by grace made available through faith the summation of your partnership that causes that reality that is available grace makes it available it creates the possibility but your engaging the word accordingly makes it your experience. Grace does not make it your experience. Grace opens it up. It lets you know that this is a possibility contained in God. I've shared it with you that the grace of God is not redemption. No, redemption is a subset of God's grace. God's grace is a generic description of any and everything that only God can provide. It's called his grace. So the anointing is God's grace. His mercy is a dimension of his grace. His love is a dimension of his grace. Any possibility that should be the experience of men that can only be provided for by God is his grace. Grace never makes it your experience. It creates the potential for redemption, for healing, for blessing, for increase for multiplication but then it takes faith and most people have thought that 
the only aspect of faith is to believe and confess no sir mm -mm. Mm -mm. no that's only an aspect of faith faith is a generic name given to everything that involves the partnership of man the first key to partnership is finding out the formula god has provided for receiving that miracle understanding it by the help of the spirit and then taking relevant steps in accordance to what he has said this is what the bible calls faith believing is only an aspect of faith confessing is only an aspect of faith that's not all there is to it if you stop there you will be in total shock you can believe that prosperity is your heritage you can confess it is your heritage and stop and don't engage the other forces and you will remain in poverty and penury forever you can believe is god's desire for you to be great listen carefully you can confess that it is god's desire for you to be great and not engage the other forces of greatness value relationships skill and find out you never ask are we together now yes so when we learn the systems of the kingdom we are bringing ourselves to the point of faith where we are able to act with understanding and intelligence it is only when our obedience is complete that we commit god's integrity and then he is compelled to make it happen this is how angels work angels don't work at random angels signify things revelations 1 verse 1 the bible says the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto his servant john he said and he sent it and signified it by his angel angels act in accordance to understanding their action accredits that you are doing something right so they don't just act at random just because they are there no there is what to do that engages them because they are governed, they are supervised by the Holy Spirit. It is the office of the Holy Spirit that supervises the operation of angels. They don't just move anyhow and do everything. That your eyes are open in the realm of the Spirit and you see them near you is no guarantee they will rescue you. Hallelujah. Is God speaking to us? And so we must find out the things that we need to understand to help us excel brothers and sisters god sees my heart and how much passion that i have to see every one of us rise i will share with us a few things most of them recaps so that we re-evaluate whether we have been practicing these things and then we'll pray are you ready hmm. the first price for doing business with god and making any name and anything that is sustainable on earth please write it down if there is a title for this thing i will call it the price wherever we stop i'm i'm re we're going back to the laws the systems of the kingdom there is no other way to get results than a comprehension a working knowledge and understanding of the systems of the kingdom alongside how we are to engage them this is how results are produced the first price is the price of intimacy the price of intimacy the price of intimacy make a mark in the sand of time god's way if you are unwilling to pay the price to know god the price of intimacy is not the price of praying in tongues it's not just the price of fasting it's the price to know god the price to know god the price to know god write it down the price of intimacy is the requirement that causes a man to have a relationship with God. Daniel 11 verse 32. Thank you, 
Jesus. He says, but the people that do know, know, the word know there, you've heard me say it again and again, it's not just the word aware. That you are aware God exists does not mean you know him. Are we together now? Pastor Alpha knows me. Pastor Femi knows me. Correct? Promise knows me. Kenny, they know me. But I'm not sure any of them know me as much as a Jimmy. Why? Because we have spent more time. There are many things that have brought us closer. And every one of them can only enjoy their confidence about me is based on their knowledge. Please listen. The foundation for your confidence in the kingdom is not just bold face for nothing. It is the knowledge of God. The Bible says, it says let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not, um, how did he put it now? Let not, let not the strong man glory in his strength. But it says, let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. The foundation, as I'm saying it now, please, I want you to check your life. There are many hustlers in life. They like money, but they hate God. They like what God can give, but they hate him. They like church. They love miracles. They love anointing. They love signs and wonders, but they hate God. They like seed sowing and harvest, but they hate God. Please come, Pastor Alpha. Let me tell you something. I can come to your house and like your bed. Your bed is not you. Correct? I can like your kitchen. I can like your food. I can like your suit. I can like your tie. Huh? I can like your children. I can like your car. All those things are related to you, but they are not you. Anointing is not God. Miracles is not God. Hear me? Oh. Breakthrough is not God. Fasting is not God. Prayer is not God. Bible study is not God. God is a person who can be known. You can hang around activities that are related to him and convince yourself that because you have actively participated in activities that relate to God, it means you know him. This is the pride of African men. We claim I was born in so, so, so time. This baptistry, we were the ones who dedicated it. The first communicants, we are the ones who laid hands on them. When Reinhard Bonke came, we were the ones who set the canopy. And we add all those spiritual accolades to equal knowing God. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Knowing the things of God and knowing God are two different things. The Bible never said, but the people who come to church. It never said, but the people who drop their tithes and offerings. He never said the people who are ordained into ministry. Please listen carefully. We are examining the foundation for our results. You learn principles without an encounter with God. You are just learning jargons. As powerful as principles are. Principles are a derivative of a relationship with a person. Are we together now? Yes. You can know about me by reading my books, but you know me by meeting me. My book is supposed to create an appetite for encounter. Here's what the Bible says. It says, ye search the scriptures. You search the scriptures because you think in them by themselves you will find life. He said, those scriptures testify of me. That means reading the Bible should stimulate you to want to meet a person. Much more than opening the Bible. Zodiac books can be open and you can read. Scientology and all kinds of books can be open. But if you're reading the book does not translate to meeting a person, you will never be great in life. But the people that do know their God, show me a man who is willing to go through the price of intimacy. I don't care whether he went to school or not. 
I don't care whether he came from what background. Show me a man. He may be an orphan. Oh, goodness. What relationship with the Holy Spirit can bring to a man? Brothers and sisters, he can pick a weak person. A weak person. A weak lady. No father, no mother. No opportunity for a great life. But that you are stupid enough to say, Spirit of the living God, you represent the presence of Jesus. I am willing. I am willing. Like a little child will run to the father. I'm clueless about my life and destiny. I don't know where I'm coming from. I don't know where I'm going to. I don't have an idea of what life is about. But all I want is you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to know you. Listen. Life will challenge your knowledge of God. You can know God as a theory. One day. The reason why many believers give up just like some of you now. Let me tell you the mystery of tiredness and living God is because there was no encounter in the first place let's be careful the kind of believers we are producing in church I know when I talk like this people think I'm just being sarcastic no I love the body of Christ but we need to re-examine the quality of the harvest we are bringing because we are bringing believers who don't know God they don't care about God they have zero passion for the things of God they will tell you i'm not called into ministry god has called me into business in other words keep all that one to the business people whoever told you knowing god was for pastors whoever told you knowing god was for men of god and their wives and their children but the people that do know their god you want a harvest of strength you want a life of exploits and triumph the first prize is to know God. I can pray for you, but I can't know God for you. You can benefit from my relationship. But brothers and sisters, everybody will stand before that Red Sea. Whether you are married, when you get to the Red Sea, pastor, you will stand there and your wife will stand before her Red Sea. It is her faith that will bring her victory. You can't intercede for people indefinitely forever. No, sir. Are we together but the people who do know their god i talk to pastors and they tell me apostle how do you manage criticism how you do you manage this you know people who like me don't no longer like me and i look at them i say oh dear you are just like a patient comes to tell the doctor and says look i've been purging i've been coughing and while he's talking the doctor is seeing symptoms of cholera are you seeing that now that's the same way do you know most of our lamentations are a window into something that is wrong most likely we don't know god most likely hmm. that's why you can say father i i thank you i know you will bless me but lord if you don't bless me anything i do oh, that's your cup of tea that kind of talk is a revelation that there is no encounter because when you know god he infects you like a virus you come to a point where you say lord seeking you for results is over forever i seek you first for who you are results or no results i'm stuck with you i'm stuck with you it's a salt covenant i'm stuck with you forever are we together everybody say the price of intimacy say it say the price of intimacy can you boldly stand please i want you to listen to my message knowing god experientially is a powerful message knowing god experientially teaches you the system of knowing god let me tell you how god causes men to know him he introduces himself to people and his dimensions in the presence of their challenges and predicaments only challenges can help men know God. There's no other way to know him. The names of God scattered in the Bible 
were a revelation of him in the presence of certain challenges most people know god as healer just because they saw benny him praying or they came for miracle service but the day you stand face to face with a doctor's report that says look madam um i'm sorry to tell you this but it's not like you may not give birth you cannot give birth we have done the scan and we realize that you don't even have a womb he says, sorry come again say look i'm a consultant so you are not talking to a stupid person there is no womb at that point you go back and say god is this not your word let me tell you what it will do to you challenges shake us up all of a sudden and make god serious you know that there is a way you can be trivializing god but then certain challenges just shake you ordinarily you will not wake up by 2 a.m in the night but the reality of what has confronted you forces you to wake up you don't need alarm clock you don't need lipton you don't need coffee the pressure and all of a sudden you pray let me tell you something after nine months when you hold that child you are not holding a child you are holding a testimony other people are dancing over a child you are dancing over a testimony so the day they prophesy and say may the god that can open up a door in one year open your door other people are saying amen the moment let me tell you how you receive things in the spirit yes you receive by faith but your past experiences with god help you to receive the newer things he's bringing god looks for something he has done in your life before and connects it to what you are trusting him for are we together when david was fighting goliath remember he drew from the archives of god's faithfulness do you have a name you have given god based on something only you and him know or are you just reciting the names that you read in the bible rafa jire pastor there is a name you call your wife it's none of my business it's none of our business that is a product of intimacy there is a name you call somebody when you are angry there is a name you call somebody when the times are good there is a even as friends is that true what is the name of god that is a product of your knowing him what name did you give him is there a secret name that every time you call god says i know this voice uh -uh. no one else calls me this name when pastor alpha's wife hears him calling that name he can't mistake it she can't mistake it for me even if i know the name it won't sound like that there is a mystery behind the name there is a way when people in the bible said rafa there were too many stories that came to their mind but today you say rafa and your mind is blank no experience to connect to rafa oh jehovah jireh as abraham abraham knows jehovah jireh but we sing it jehovah jireh my provider and we jump around and there is no revelation that connects that that's why africa has resorted to calling him names in their languages because they found out that it, it has it can help when that gentleman was calling whatever he was saying i was happy because he was not just reciting a poem a name that relates to your pain you don't survive an accident and call god jire you call him the deliverer the deliverer so when somebody sees you say how oh, the deliverer is here they say ah, in a prosperity convention say mr man is the dimension of god that was revealed to me that i keep calling what is the name what is the name we've had our fathers call god names that were strange to us we copied it but it's time for us to have a genuine encounter genuine encounter the price of intimacy koinonia please listen to me no level of business acumen no level of education can cover the gap that intimacy was meant to cover but the people that do know their god if you're a pastor please don't do ministry without knowing god you will die like a chicken you will sit down one day on the stage and start crying and the people ask you what is going you say i, I don't know
the price of intimacy there are certain things about intimacy i want us to understand number one please i'm taking out time to just i want us to understand this thing intimacy takes time you cannot know a man a woman you are willing to spend time with no sir intimacy is a product of time you don't give god five minutes and get benny Hinn's encounter please god is not that cheap my brother my sister listen to me you need to spend time he must mean a lot to you number two god must become priority to have intimacy with him the bible says don't cast your pearl before swine I've said it you don't come to someone's house and then he takes you to his bedroom shows you where he keeps money no sir when you come sometimes you will even stand at the gate sometimes you will enter and stay inside sometimes you will stay at the parlor you will not even have access to the kitchen but there are certain people while all that is happening the child can run and even enter the bedroom The price for intimacy i look at the lives of people believers yes we are born again yes we are filled with the holy spirit but when i look at our lives i don't see priority passion for god is contagious when a brother likes a lady no matter how he tries to hide it his roommate will know is that true <sighs> The roommate will say you just spoke to five people but this sixth person the joy at which you used to call that lady this joy is not natural correct you are hugging everybody after service and then the way you hug that lady brother said this hug is too generous for just brotherly kindness no what is there's more to this i say it's true i've been looking at her passion passion has a presence don't lie to us that you love god when we cannot see the passion Passion has a presence. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. All I want is you. I hunger and thirst for you. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. For all I want. The third key I'm sharing with you for intimacy to be established, one is you must be ready to invest your time. You give God five minutes of your time, you get five minutes worth of knowledge. Second is priority. Third is your willingness to lay down ha. The, the bible calls it the power to lay down this is where some of you will not like me now this is where many believers will not like me now because our generation has been indoctrinated that you can eat your cake and have it no sir go and ask anybody even an occultist you don't eat your cake and have it you cannot know god without a sacrifice i'm not talking money a sacrifice fasting is a sacrifice prayer is a sacrifice are we together studying the bible is a sacrifice we don't like this language at all yet we want power we want results sacrifice there are times that on account of your intimacy with god you just want to eat and the word of the lord comes to you Go on a three-day fast. Oh God, which breakthrough is coming now? God said, this is not the issue of breakthrough. You are about, I'm about to reveal, I'm about to open you up to certain encounters. And I said, God, this is not flamboyant enough. If that you told me that I, after this three days fast, land will manifest from anywhere and come. It's a worthy investment to fast. But wh why will I fast to know you? What is the big deal about you when I'm looking for land? And God will say, you see it. You see your heart. 
Pastor Alpha, hold my hands again. Everybody says sacrifice. I am amazed at the difficulty that believers go through to lay down the slightest thing. Slightest thing. So this suit, you discuss with God for one year before it leaves. You are carnal and you don't love him. It's the truth. Empty your account. I curse that, that devil. You argue for two years first and finish the money till 10,000. I say, God, I will lay it down. God says, just leave. I will tell you when to do it again. Are you willing to lay down? Jesus said, I have the power to lay down. Let me show you maturity in the spirit. When a man has gotten to a point where there is nothing you cannot lay down. Abraham, take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. Many of us will agree to fast for 400 days than to lay down something for him. Everybody say sacrifice. 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 When God makes that demand that you are willing to sacrifice, you will know him. Let me tell you, I submit to you with all humility. This man standing before you is a testimony of sacrifice. Ask God, there is nothing I cannot lay down for him. Oh, it's a joke. Before he finishes talking, it will go. I have exercised myself to see the vanity of anything outside of God. You must lay down. The Bible says, love not the world. Usually, it's those who hate money that preach that message. No. It's all those who are poor and broke. They preach it as a consolation to their poverty. No, sir. You should not preach that message until you are really rich. Love not the world or the things that are in the world if any man loves the world he didn't say don't have those things an affinity to it god gave you a car and the car took his place god gave you a wife and the wife took his place god gave you children they took his place god gave you a, a job paying six figures and he lost you in that job is god speaking to someone here god increase your cgpa and that's the end of it God connected you to a good brother, a good sister. God gave you a business idea. And with that idea, he lost you. No, sir. No, sir. Sacrifice. The Lord, for as long as I live, in life and in death, you remain my priority. And that if need be, I will lay aside anything. If God tells me, lay aside koinonia now, brothers and sisters, is with tears we we'll hold the last valedictory service. I will hold the last service. I don't care what prophet comes from where and says, Apostle, I think you are not hearing God well. I will apologize when God changes his mind, but for now, koinonia closed. Apostle, what do you do with the life you are blessing? I don't know. As the one who sent me, but koinonia closed. There is a way you can do ministry. You have carried your reputation and your life and added to it. When God says shift left, God says, and then leave me where? Are we together? I want you to look at your life now. Let me show you why money is not coming to your life. Leave, leave business. We are coming there. But we are examining why there are some of us, regardless of our prayer, Satan enters our life anyhow. Do you know why? Because the lust in your heart needs to be purged beyond imagination. Your attachment to things. You, God would dare not make a demand of anything. What sort of thing is that? Who gave you the life? Many of you would have noticed that from August, August till now, I'm not sure I've gone from over four ministrations. Cancelled almost everything. It's just been maybe one or two ministrations per month and the rest. Very unusual because that's the instruction God gave. And I said, that's it. Let me tell you, there are certain people that I would have wanted to be in their meetings with all my heart. But I love God. There's nothing I know that moves the heart of God than him seeing something you ordinarily love. But you say, Lord, it is for you. He says, that's it. This is what I'm looking for. If this handkerchief is five naira, and I tell you I brought this handkerchief from the UK, 
are we together i bought it whatever amount one pound and i carried it from the uk and i brought they wanted to collect it but i hid it back immigration wanted to harass me but i said this is for you if i give you will you give somebody for one thousand it's not about the sacrifice have increased the value of it there is no rising in the spirit when you are holding on to everything jealousy anger huh? all kinds of things please let's re-examine these things if we really want results god declared that it's a year of triumph but it's your heart with him it's your heart with him apostle all i want is just pray for me let a husband come keep quiet oh sister and listen to what i'm telling you because it's not just the issue of pray for husband god has already seen the wickedness in your heart and god is saying no way you must love me first before i carry my son that i've labored on to carry and give you oh god just bless me i need to be a millionaire i've seen this thing in my dream and god said if you don't listen to my servant you will it will remain in the dream there it takes hunger for god how many people have made money and left god have you seen people like that anybody that says money does not give you an option is a poor and a broke person who doesn't know anything about money because when you have money there are few things you will pray about correct many prayer requests are tied to finances and let me be honest with you there is a level in your life that you get to where you don't think about money again you may not have everything but you get to a point where all your basic needs can be met to the degree you want them to be met at that point that's how you see how carnal and mundane your heart is because there's nothing else i understand praying for six hours because of the emergency that is on you but when his majesty has lifted your life beyond certain realms that's when you will know and prove whether he's really lord in your life my number one prayer to god every time is oh god for as long as i live may nothing win my heart so much enough to be able to push you and say god wait behind just because a door of ministry was open wait behind oh god benihin is calling me wait behind billy graham gave me the privilege to see him before he dies wait behind bill gates just called me and he said he wants to bless a man of god on earth and favor located me no sir no sir lord make me your priority make me your priority make me your priority this was the secret of david make me your priority priority means you mean the world to me you mean the world to me brothers and sisters get my passion for god i pray that god will, will whatever it is that god did to me i pray that it will happen to you because if truly speaking you want to do business with god you must love him beyond things things beyond things beyond things i love him with all my heart i love him my heart is open before him is the god of my salvation i love him with all my heart i will lay down anything for him anything anything i really mean it i really mean it don't think i'm just talking i fear god i will lay down anything reputation nonsense if you can lay down anything in his presence and go down on your knees and say lord this is for you i lay down my pride i lay down my achievement oh i have a phd in so 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 and so just calm down first oh lord i hand it over to you there's nothing god loves like surrender 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 it's yours that's a language that is music to his ears the anointing lord you gave me is yours the grace you gave me is yours and while people are clapping for you in the open apostle joshua selman you come before him and say lord without you i can go nowhere else ah, but apostle tell the truth as anointed as you are without you hmm. the wife of david looked at him 
and said you are dancing you are you are you are misrepresenting yourself you don't know you are a king before god and david said me you don't know my track record with this god i've told god one day to me leaving you please if it means me taking my life let it be that i didn't finish my assignment but that you remain my priority i surrender all everything i give to you i'm withholding nothing listen to the song before you sing it lord i surrender to you everything i give to you i'm withholding nothing listen the key to dying killing your reputation and the the key to entering your rest is to hand over your life to god i don't have any reputation no brothers and sisters my reputation is god you know there are times that sometimes i chat with the media people and they tell me you know someone all these people that write all kinds of things sometimes they send mails sometimes sarcasm people say all kinds of things i say apostle your reputation and i laugh as ah reputation died since when if i had a reputation of my own wouldn't i be under pressure right now let me tell you what is causing stress the fight to protect our reputation that's it so that people will not think i'm poor let me prove a point and god is saying what point come on to me come on to me i need people to know that me i'm not i'm not just a i'm not i'm not a poor man i i need to go and buy a trouser and god says no i am your reputation i am your inheritance listen let me teach you people the secret of rest there are many pastors wearing themselves out i need crowd so that they will know that me too i'm anointed if if a man can receive nothing except it is given to him from god i learn to rest in him he truly is my rest <laughs> it's my rest that's why the ministry has been designed in such a way that whether i'm here or not god will be glorified it can't be around me no sir if i die now god forbid ah oh, yes you will just cry for seven days you will try to pray and raise me back to life maybe two or three days after three days i guarantee you'll be tired small and you just say oh, what do we do they say let's just give god pray somebody will have a dream and see me say please bury me jerry and leave me in peace ah but he said you will not die while you are talking all that nonsense i'm in heaven happy and rejoicing and looking at you and saying instead of crying for me you better go and listen to my messages and make a meaning out of your life for for me to live is christ but to die is gain look at the stress that is killing you is it not because of ego talk to me 90 percent of the depression that is killing us in this life is an attempt to protect our image we say i need to guard my image. what nonsense image ask a man who built an image that god smashed into pieces he built 90 feet of his image protected by bowing down god says no but those who entered the fire to protect the image of god god says i come to protect you brothers and sisters i give you an advice carry your reputation like a sacrifice hand it over to god and enter your rest this night this is a deliverance for someone now is that true the 40,000 house rent is killing you. You don't have the money. But to go and meet your friend and squat, you are saying, no, I need them to know. Please, enter your rest. Pack out of that place and go and give yourself peace. Instead of dying to maintain your reputation. They've been seeing me wearing only one shoe. I need to get another one. Nobody has been seeing you. People have their problems. It is your, it is your, your, the punishment that comes from not handing over everything to God.
I like you to pray as you are seated and say, Lord, I am tired of carrying a load you told me to give you. I hand it over. Apostle, but people are always asking me, when will I marry? It will kill you. Don't let depression kill you. Hand everything over to God and enter your Sabbath. Enter your rest. A man can receive nothing until it is given to him from God. Pray, Lord, make me your priority. I'm willing to commit time to knowing you. I'm willing to commit to surrender everything and make you a priority. This obsession I have for marriage, this obsession for children, this obsession for job, this obsession for power, this obsession for ministry and rema and miracles is taking your place. Return back to your throne, oh God. If this is all I share tonight, it's worth it. Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? That's my testimony. If you left you waited, you waited. Listen, where would I be if he left me? This song means a lot to me because you see, brothers and sisters, he is the invisible force behind men who command results. You don't see him, you only see them. So chances are that they are the ones who you can shake. They are the ones who you can sow to. But every great man knows that behind him is an invisible and mighty God. Unmovable. I may shake, but he's unmovable, unshakable. But the people that do know their God shall defy status quo. They shall be strong and they shall do exploits the first prize we are revisiting the mysteries that make for greatness brothers and sisters let's return to the place of intimacy let's return to the place of intimacy this is a call return to the place of intimacy spend time with God draw strength from him talk to him don't hide anything from him open your all to him it will be foolish and silly to hide anything from him everything carry your pain carry your tears learn to spend time with god alone hold on please there are some of you as i look at you you don't yet have the passion for god to go on a personal retreat no you are churchy you love god you don't drink you don't steal you don't womanize you don't follow men but you don't love god you can't go by yourself and lock your house and say please i need to spend time some of you the last time you did this was a long time ago ministry are it is place in your life listen you must learn the power of retreating even if it's just for a day do it lock yourself lord i come before you you are the god of my strength i am open and naked before you these are my crowns these are my pains I bring them before you and you fellowship with him and he talks to you ah my son I love you correct this add this to your life I'm introducing this begin to see things this way and you come out of there with fire and grace and people look at you and your life is an unending compendium of wonder wonder unfolding when a man gasses out it's a sign that he has left the secret place in a long time. Freshness is one of the characteristics of the secret place. 
Look at me. Whether you are working class or you are a student, you are a father, you are a mother, you are a husband or a wife, I'd like you to write it if you are writing. I must create time alone, underline alone with God. MOG, create time more with God. Because all you have to serve the people is what you receive in the secret. Thank you, Jesus. That's how it works. You want to experience a, a life of unending victory. It starts that way. It starts that way. It always starts with him. Not principles. We are coming to principles. But him. Not just an encounter. An encounter can be a one-time experience. But intimacy is fellowship. Is partnership. Staying. Remaining with him. Where he becomes your priority. Sister, a brother comes into your life and meets you madly in love with God. He won't do any how to you like that because he met, when he meets you idol, uh, idol, carelessly moving around, waiting for a man, that's when he does everything for you. He comes to find you in worship. Can we see by this time, oh, I would love to, but I, I need to spend some time with God. Ah, which God? So, well, that's, that's what I do. Ah, by yourself, you are behaving as if you are a child. And he, you just see that as a sign from God that this is going to be a wicked husband. You don't need to go and ask God again whether he's the will of God. God answered you there. Your passion forced an answer from him. Are we together? I love God. I love Jesus. I love him. i like you to pray and say, Lord, help me love you. Help me love you genuinely. the price of intimacy the price of intimacy let no westernization preach you out of this my brother my sister the price of intimacy let education not preach you out of this let a job let money let marriage let children not preach you out of this way before ministry was he was and he is and will ever be in the beginning god in the beginning god in the beginning god i must become alpha and no man of your life for anything in between to make sense please pray Oh, I re I reestablish my covenant of intimacy. For Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Yes, you are the cup that will run dry. Other things may run dry. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Not in my life. Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Hold on. It's impossible to marry a bad woman when your heart is connected to God. You attract what looks like you. You leave God and you are doing all kinds of rubbish. The devil will bring Jezebel to your life that will tear your head and tear your anointing into pieces. It's impossible to marry a bad man. All these men that drive you to church, they leave you somewhere. Sisters, I'm talking to you. They all go and do koinonia. Pray for us, oh Mother Teresa. As soon as they are rounding up, they are there by that place where they are selling something. They are waiting for you. They pick you and say, I love you. Nonsense. Let me deliver you now. If there are such kind of people in your life, you better send them a text and tell them, get out of my life so that God himself will bring my husband or my wife hallelujah anybody that hates your god and likes you is a liar no sir you come under my roof you serve what i'm serving you serve who i'm serving you can't be under my roof and have your own rules no sir
it is from your intimacy you will raise your children you can't give what you don't have it is from your intimacy as a pastor let me tell you when you love god and you hunger after him that fire con the people catch that fire and they love god too you tell people to fast you are eating secretly you buy fish you buy yam you buy whatever people are laboring and they are fasting you will eat and belch and dress and come and round up the meeting intimacy intimacy i'd like you to think in one minute what is that one thing that is currently fighting the position of god in my life think don't pray think what is it what is that one thing that if god makes a demand now honestly i can't give it what is it some of us is our reputation i keep talking about this reputation my class I am this I am that the power of my hand hey. I have seen mighty people fall like a leaf overnight because God they ignored God's assistance in their life you can be a CEO of XYZ today and be a billionaire and crash back to zero Is God waking somebody up today? Please return to the secret place. Return to the place where he is priority. Return to the age long and age old mystery of retreats. Where you take periodic times out with God. And just spend and cry before him. And say Lord thank you. That you fast for 100 days does not mean you love God. It can just mean that you are a strong person. Congratulations for that. But it's not equal to intimacy. You're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all to hold the hand of your neighbor and pray for him and say lord keep your love burning in him keep your love burning in her don't pray for yourself pray for your neighbor lord keep your love burning that's the investment of prayer I'm making for my neighbor whether you're a newcomer or not lord keep your let my neighbor prioritize you my neighbor loves you but you are not such a big deal to him or to her but lord walk on his heart tonight walk on her heart tonight hallelujah hallelujah are you blessed are you blessed these are the mysteries let me teach you one more hmm. the second prize that i want to teach you tonight wherever we stop we'll pray we'll continue next week i'm taking this thing because i really want us to understand the second prize is the price of submission to authority listen the price of submission to authority write it down mm. the price the embarrassing ego stinging but destiny molding price of submission to authority the mysteries that turn people's lives into wonders the price of submission to authority hmm. nobody promotes himself in this kingdom you cannot promote yourself you cannot accredit yourself nobody makes himself a professor 
nobody makes himself a doctor is that true pastor alpha you have supervisors correct mm -hmm. no student marks his project and say i passed correct no in the kingdom listen the system of rising is such that it's not only god that approves you alone men must approve you if not you will never rise listen to me your approval is not just in the hands of god alone it's in the hands of men too mm. jesus knew this that's why he had to look for john the baptist what will the son of god be doing the son of god look for john the baptist for what for what the word that created the heavens and the earth searches for john the baptist when john sees him himself he says behold the lamb that's enough to make his head big and say oh so you know then it means i will go back he said no suffer it to be so it's an ordinance it's a secret permit it to be so i know that i created you but suffer it to be so that all scriptures will be fulfilled that there be no legal basis for my remaining small listen i know that god has approved you but have men approved you you will think it does not matter go and find out those who made kings in the bible whether the spirit appeared as a ghost god chose them men anointed them kings is it in your bible how god anointed jesus but did, did it come like that no samuel how long will you weep over saul seeing that i rejected him go and take your horn i want to use david but you have refused to cooperate with me i have approved him from heaven but david cannot rise because the man that will pour the oil and approve him refused God approves a man as a king and on earth the authority to accredit him is still negotiating and because of that that person remains grounded listen Saul the son of Kish was looking for his father's donkey when he met an authority that could approve and he called him he said come go up I will tell you what is in your heart and all of a sudden he anointed Saul and poured oil on him and his life changed whoever lied to you that when you say to hell with men you will prosper the Bible says believe in the Lord your God you want to be established wonderful but if you want to make it in this life brothers and sisters you must submit to God's scriptural pattern of authority your alignment to God's scriptural chain of authority decide how and what flows to you your alignment to god's scriptural chain of authority determines how and what flows to you there are prophets in the bible who were preordained by god to be prophets there were other prophets who were made prophets nowhere in the bible it was never written that they should be prophets amos was not a prophet he was a farmer he was an agriculturist but a man saw him and made him a prophet elisha was not a prophet oh i hope you know that when elijah took his girdle and slapped it on elisha while he was farming elisha started following him the result was that he became a prophet. Agabus, a man in the Bible called Agabus, who gave birth to daughters. The Bible never tells us that they were serious spiritually. But because they were born, they came out of a loin, the loins of a man who for whatever reason was a prophet. The old daughters were prophets too. your submission to authority is a mystery that governs promotion ask anybody who is honest enough to admit 
and tell them the day they began to discern authority what happened in their lives that's why you see those who dishonor the body of christ will never rise you've heard me say this all those who make it a point of duty they insult every man of god they insult every church once it's not your pastor everybody is an object of there is a sin that you can do against the body of christ a man cannot just sin against god alone you can sin against the body of christ and the bible says jealousy is the rage of a man i cannot come and insult a jimmy's wife and expect him to smile no. the first understanding of authority is your submission to the body not just to man of god not just to spiritual fatherhood your submission to the body the multifaceted dimension of god that is scattered in the body your ability to acknowledge that the body of christ is a compendium of infinite possibilities regardless of what your unique biases are when you love the body you are ready to access the deep things in the spirit god will never do business with you when you hate his body there are people who are fasting giants but their cynicism against the body mention any name of any man of god they have something to say mention it, they, that attitude of sarcasm and they wonder why regardless of fasting and prayer nothing comes the body the bible says for this cause not discerning the body many are weak for this cause many are sick this cause many do sleep as a ministry we have clearly defined our position over the body i love the body of christ you will never hear me open my mouth and talk about any man of god and any ministry it doesn't mean i believe everything i have my reservations but i love the body a wounded bride is still a bride if a woman injures her hand on her wedding day, does it stop her from marrying? That woman you insult every time, call the church, is someone's wife. Submission to the body. Submission to the body. That you discern that this body of Christ is a compendium of possibilities. The blessing of God always comes to you through alignment to authority. The blessing of God, please everyone listen. The blessing of God will always come to your life through alignment. Write this down. I learned this from Dr. Mike Mudok. The primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Write it down. The primary purpose of authority, the primary purpose of authority is provision, protection, and promotion. Provision. When you submit to authority, you have access to the promotion that that authority commands. When you submit to authority, you have access to the protection. We call it a covering. And when you submit to authority, you have access to promotion. Are we blessed? You can never promote yourself. You can never accredit yourself listen when you see people submit to authority let me tell you why people hate submission come pastor alpha there are many people what they are doing is pseudo submission you know what we call pseudo submission one leg in one leg out you are not exactly there but you are just there who is this guy well he's a very he's a senior colleague he's just a brother there you are you are you would never rise that way no way God is not a fraud star. You are in it or you are out. I will never forget a gentleman who walked up to me one day and said, Sir, I've been looking at you as if he's toasting me. I've been watching you. I've been watching your life, sir. And, uh, you know, I just feel I need to come close to you. I told this, get out of here. Don't, don't waste my time. 
go and walk on your pride in the secret place when your discernment is complete and you understand that not all human beings are pure human beings then when you submit to a man you don't submit to a body you submit to a system are we together if you fly a plane somebody drives it even if it is your jet somebody drives it the jet is guaranteed to carry you but not everybody will be a driver that's how it is in life listen no matter how you fear god and no matter how you love god there are things that you will get based on connection you will pray in the secret place god will refer you to his structure the Bible says the church was built in a very strange way. It says Christ being the chief cornerstone. After that, he said it was on the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. Not just by name. Then the body was built. There are certain graces when you don't encounter in your life, you will never rise. I know this looks like human worship. But these are the secrets that other people who are not very smart, they just know how to encounter it. The body of Christ do you have that discernment I've shared with you how we receive the grace for long life we transported the grace of for long life officially and brought it to this ministry yeah I know how we got it when we stopped at that place that border between Quara state and equity state there is a strange mystery that goes on there 142 132 125 healthy ah we stopped quickly we went to the baba there we said sir there is a grace for long life here we wanted the man laughed he said kneel down he didn't say are you a pastor because when you go as a pastor you stay outside when you submission demands a stripping of whatever robe or regalia and a an acknowledgement that's what we did on a very good day he says sir i'm just returning from a ministry where there are miracles baba do you know me cannot even speak english we got we had to look for an interpreter and he spoke kneel down jerry young people we knelt down and this man began to speak i told you i met the wife of the 132 year old man who died i think she was like maybe 120 something you would think she's 60 and I told her, I said, ah, when the woman saw, she tapped me. She said, follow me. I didn't care where I was going. No, no matter what I saw, I would stay there. Because I know what brought me there. If I was cynical, I said, madam, where are you taking me? I'm a born again believer. No, go there first. She showed me the picture of her youth with the one 32 year old man. Afterwards, we told her that they prayed for us. But since you are the wife, two have become one. The man is dead, you are alive, so he's still alive. And the woman removed her shoes. Said, kneel down. Ah, what do you think I'll do? Hey. Submission. Submission. Let me tell you what many of us will do. <laughs> Mama, just pray. Is that kneeling down? That's pride. You are not receiving a sword. Kneel down. One of the biggest enemy of submission is that we think submission is a way of demeaning our own self. Now, truly speaking, do you know there are people who do that? They purposely demean you in the name of submission. That's wrong. There are insecure men and women of God scouting around for anybody they can call son or daughter to increase their accolades, not because they understand what they have. And they will purposely humiliate you, especially in the open, to show. Look, Jesus was with the people who were submissive to him, but you did not even know who Jesus was. They had to use a kiss to identify him. I choose to be like him. You don't have to move around and when people are there, you say, oh, yeah, Pastor Alpha, shift, let them know I'm the one. <laughs> when they know, you can come back. I watch people who hate submission, having passion for sons and daughters. They hate submission, they hate acknowledging authorities. 
they come for a meeting and see a, a man of God that deserves honor, uh, all protocols duly observed. Ah, Pastor Femi, aye. Is that greeting? That is, that, is, that is the attitude of pride that drives grace down. Look, if you are anointed, you are anointed. It's as simple as that. If it's not there, it's not there. Are we together? Authority. I can share with you encounters after encounters. One of the things I love about the leaders and the people in this ministry, and that's why you see that many of them have been able to reproduce this grace, is because they understand submission. Truly speaking, I tell you, I am very proud of the workers in this ministry. I am proud of the heads of department. They understand submission. Submission is not a way of managing a man of God's insecurity. Listen, never form a team where the loyalty of the people is questionable. Let me give you an advice. If I want to create, come, 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 darling. If I want to establish a company, come. One, two, three, four. If I notice your loyalty is questionable i will sack you what wait wait oh but you are you are gifted just carry your gift and go away with it you only deal ruthlessly with rebellion listen i'm telling you people will interpret it as insecurity but it is irresponsible for a leader to see rebellion and let it go deal with it are we together yes I will not let anybody to be close to me who does not listen to me and acknowledge the authority of the Lord of, of, on my life over him. I will not. I don't hate you. I won't fight you. But you certainly will not be close to me. You know why? Because you will not receive. And you will corrupt the passion of others from coming to receive. Because they will say you are close. Why are you not getting this result? I say, yeah, this thing. Is it not we that are close to them? We, we, we that are, if me, I'm close like this. Have you ever seen me heal the sick? So you should be doubting. And I say, ah, you mean it? That anointing is, eh, for, I didn't say he's fake. Oh, I only said, am I not close to him? Why has it not come on me? Take those kind of people out of your life. I'm, I'm talking to you sincerely. Take them out of your life. Anybody that comes close to you, as I, I don't mean everybody but as somebody a man of god or somebody that god has lifted to a measure not all of them will submit to you in terms of fatherhood but they should be able to acknowledge what god is doing in your life enough to listen when there is time to listen are we together now yes if you're in worship team here and your music director is talking to you and say sir like i read in the book mm -mm, keep quiet you do it again you do it tomorrow if i'm you he will never sing here again no way it's more than holding the mic and a good voice you don't listen that's how one day they'll say sing after two times transpose and you invent your own everybody transposes only you and you are just dancing because people are clapping you are dancing and you mess up team spirit only happens when there is an agreement to submit are you listening to what i'm saying that's why many people never rise All blessings come. They flow from a scriptural chain of authority. A few weeks ago, Pastor Alpha went to stand in for me for a meeting and a number of our people. And after the meeting, one of the mothers there sent me a text and said, Apostle, you have reproduced yourself verbatim in these people. And I smiled. I said, they deserve it. They deserve it. One of our dear ones here, when he was in the school of ministry, you know this was somebody that god helped and one time he went towards their graduation time he went to minister somewhere and my goodness it was an experience there was such an avalanche of the presence and the power of god and he returned back he was saying ah this and that and that and i told him when you listen and you submit you have it everybody say submission to authority learn it today learn it we have to stop here but if just doing these two things alone the the bible says god called abraham he says a lot went with him is that in your bible lots did what 
He didn't say Abraham said, Lord, let's go. Lord said, I'm going. I'm sure Abraham said, you better go back. And Lord went with him. God called Elijah and Elisha went with him. Elisha had sons of the prophets who paid school fees. And they were receiving lectures from a lecturer. But Elisha said, since I didn't pay anything, I will humble myself and follow. He was the one who poured water on the hands of Elisha. I'm not saying to compel people to worship you. Please don't do that. I, I know that the leaders in this ministry will not do that. Don't just make... There are times that people do some unnecessary worship. You know you have not gotten to the level that demands that. You stop it consciously. Even as I am now. There are things... There are some mothers old enough to be my mother. Old enough. More older than my mother. They will see me and they want to kneel down. I will be stupid at my age and level to allow a woman kneel down like that and say she acknowledges me. No. If I try to carry her up and she refuses, I kneel down with her too. That's a wise person. So, fatherhood is not a way of massaging your ego to watch people worship you. While they do it, you make sure the crowd is watching. No. God will punish you for playing with people's lives like that. But brothers and sisters, there are mysterious benefits to submission. One of it is the flow of grace. One of it is the flow of grace believe this oh believe this pastor jimmy was telling me yesterday that he was talking with someone a meeting that i'm going for next year somewhere and then he was talking with the person the person had had me mention his name and he you know they got in touch and he was saying sir i've had apostle talk about you so so much and i was so touched yesterday he's just hearing it now a jimmy was talking to me and he said that he told the man he said sir your life and your ministry is about to shift in a way that you will never imagine. When he said it, I looked at him. I said, this is somebody who is my friend. He's so close to me. But that ability to discern. Some of you, you know why God never lets you come close to a man of God? Your proximity for familiarity, your, your propensity for familiarity is too bad. Way together someone came one day to see me and when he came he saw me eating corn and he was laughing he needed a some and he saw me i was eating corn and he was talking he said yeah you should allow me eat before i pray for him i said don't be foolish didn't you come for prayer does eating the corn does anointing flow through corn or through whatever if if you are coming to listen keep quiet and listen otherwise please walk out of here You can be sleeping on the same bed with your miracle and lack of submission. There is no woman here who should refuse submitting to her husband. Any woman that refuses submitting to her husband, I don't care whether the husband is a man of God or not. Listen, ladies, if you are about to get married, make sure you are willing to submit to your husband. I am not a I am I will not advocate oppressing women I don't do that but all these women alive movement and all this gender equality thing there is a balance to gender equality I don't oppress ladies I have a great deal of honor and respect for ladies but all this nonsense of what a man can do a woman can do also is is deception no I don't look down on women but the correct position of a woman's victory is under authority. Please learn this. Rebellious, noisy, mouth ladies that cannot submit to authority have signed for a life of defeat and pain. Listen, it's true. Submission to authority. That was the problem with Jezebel. It was obvious I have submitted to her and not the other way around. Because it was her that was running the nation. When Eve violated the law of submission, there was access to the serpent. God causes you to submit to protect you. I look at people who are in this ministry, but they are not really connected genuinely. Because I do not see the grace finding expression in their lives. There are people who have never come here. It's not about coming to lie down the altar necessarily. It's not even about sowing into the life of a man of God, carrying his handkerchief, carrying... Some of those things sometimes can just be ritualistic, really. But the truth of it is a connection. Connection is based... The Bible says as 
as um, face answers to face there is a connection genuine connection genuine honor whether in the secret or in the open you will never sometimes before your hands are ever laid on you you will walk in that grace and reproduce it verbally why have you not entered certain breakthroughs that you see it is because submission is not genuine submission is not genuine praise the lord first fatherhood but then second a recognition of people that have gone ahead of you you notice sometimes when i'm counseling people when someone comes is talking about issue finance or breakthrough or this i say please go to a jimmy sometimes they can see a jimmy laughing there and they just go and stand this guy and i say you remain poor and broke there because you are not willing to listen this guy you see carries a strange grace for wealth and abundance i've worked with the jimmy for years that grace on him came from his late mother yes my first genuine watch genuine watch not all those things genuine watch then the mom gave me from uk that watch never spoiled i sold it painfully nobody invents mantles they are transferred so if you ever see it on someone it left somewhere to come there don't trivialize it the men may be young but the mantles are ancient it's like water please help it's like water do you know the water on earth is older than everybody it keeps recycling that means somebody drank it abraham drank the water you are drinking isaac because it only recycles the crops can come out the corn i'm eating abraham they eat it but the water in the sea oh no come on that's how mantles are this healing grace nobody invents it nobody even if you receive directly from god to you it was an encounter but when god shows you the dynamics it was a connection i've taught you on systems nobody will ever walk on pros in prosperity insulting kenneth copeland start from anywhere in the world the mantles keep connecting themselves until it gets to the final person kenneth copeland is not carrying a mantle of he is the system on earth to the body that represents that possibility you want to walk in the anointing and in the healing ministry start from any man of god you keep connecting until it gets to Benihin now, currently. You see that? You don't invent a road that has been found. There are people who are millionaires today, they are not smart. 90% of what we teach in business schools, they don't know anything about it. But they were just stupid enough to discern. There is an ancient mystery. I've shared with you my story. Remember the two women, Ejimi? that i bought sugar cane for two women that were wearing tattered dresses i bought paid sugar cane for them a woman that cannot afford 50 naira now blesses me and said my son forever walk upon gold that's what the woman told me forever walk upon gold i believe i received a strange i don't believe that woman was a pure human being i believe they were angels in disguise I don't believe that woman was a pure human being. I have had many encounters like that, but this one was strange. <sighs> My life opened overnight. The race is not to the swift. I'm showing you how these systems work in the kingdom. I've shared with you how I went to Canaan land to go and sow a seed to Bishop David Oedipo. When I finished all of that, I came out. When I came out, please help this lady. I came out. I would I had already been working in signs and wonders, boarded flights by myself to go and sow a seed to a man of God. Most of you do it, but it's not genuine. You just do it for the sake of it. Listen, more greatness produced from alignment that it will be done from knowledge.
more greatness will come from alignment in the days to come than it will come from knowledge i will teach you about knowledge i teach you about skill but brothers and sisters there are ancient dimensions that are not subject to just knowledge you can enter a reality before your mind catches up i remember when people i didn't used to work very strongly in the prophetic you no know, here and there god will help me but it wasn't anything serious i remember when i was browsing william branham people were lambasting that guy saying nobody's carrying his anointing nobody's carrying all these insults they insult men of god be careful i remember watching his video one night early in the morning and i just sat down tears were rolling down my eyes i saw the humility and the compassion from that man i said how could people this guy was a thousand times more humble than me and yet people keep talking about him and all of a sudden i felt it was like something on my head it took like 30 minutes it was coming down the next meeting i went to it was like a joke i started seeing names on people over people's head i said this is strange don't ignore submission you will pay for it i know you went to school but let me tell you there are people who read let me not call the name of any course had that class but were connected to an ancient mantle that can manipulate realities and today they are working in nmpc they've been working in nmpc for decades with a past degree they've been sacking anybody but the grace that brought them there still keeps them you would think they've been sleeping around no sir listen before you submit to an authority discern the graces at work discern the forces at work discern it don't just sit down and say i am this i am this whether you call you say papa you say whatever you will never discern it discern it how you know you are genuinely connected is that the results start reproducing in your life sometimes in a shocking way let me tell you if we send a dog from koinonia dog d-o-g i carry this handkerchief and tie it on that dog i promise you and i send it for a crusade people will rise up from wheelchairs and the sick the power of god will flow it's not about the dog it's about what is carrying there are some things that are not just based on your personal work are you getting what i'm saying now god said it's the year of triumph he knows that there are many things you don't know and if he's to wait just on some things that you need to know to prosper the natural way will take years before you really understand it but there is a system when he said it there was already a provision but you are refusing to tap into it because of pride I see favor every day in my life every day is one thing i know if you ever are looking for the grace for favor and you have been looking around and you are not getting it you are a liar and you are calling god a liar and god will not be happy with you because that grace is more than available it's just that people don't know it There is nothing I'm wearing from my head to my toe that I bought with my money. No, plus my stockings, head to toe. Favor is real. You can sit and argue it in pride. Say it doesn't matter and sit down there. But you can believe and say, but Lord, this is possible. <sighs> Your life changes automatically. Do you believe this thing I'm sharing with you? I've taught you two things today the price to develop intimacy and the price of genuine connection genuine connection genuine connection you come for koinonia here you see manifestations of the spirit there are people like that they have reproduced it everywhere frankly speaking they can tell you i'm in a meeting i didn't even pray honestly i just said father we give you thanks 
and people started for even then they will go back and say oh, but god thank you for covering for me it's alignment it's alignment when he dedicated the jerusalem temple he turned and said lord whoever faces here he didn't say if he prays well once he turns this direction and he aligns with this direction please hear them so when daniel was in trouble he couldn't depend on his personal work he opened the gates towards jerusalem and said this is a matter of life and death i can't afford to take risk and play with myself hallelujah it is the lord's doing then it is marvelous marvelous go to ida and you you go to you go to destiny makers international pastor alpha's ministry it's like koinonia reproduced verbatim now the shocking part how you know this is grace reproduced is that not all of them have come here let me tell you something about spirit transfer you don't have to learn it the anointing will make you do it are we together now the anointing will make you think in a certain way it will make you understand scripture in a certain way to produce certain outcomes it's a year of triumph because there is a possibility for a transfer there are some things you should never cry about in this ministry one of it is the presence of god one of it is the favor of god one of it is the gift of men one of it is the mantle for honor one of it is revelation and understanding one of it is prayer one of it is influence do you not see the graces flying around looking for those with discernment to receive the stranger comes visits koinonia once and carries that thing and goes back and their lives changed there are people listening to me right now from mubi it was i think it was yesterday i got the text when i went there just a few weeks ago i prophesied to them because their roads are bad and i told them i said in the name of jesus i attract the attention of the government here to fix this road just yesterday the governor was there and they commit you, you okay you were there when we got the text the governor came there commissioned the road see let me tell you this thing don't wait till your life gets too bad i know the dimension of the prophetic god gave me it's called the creative dimension of prophecy creation you make things happen you program them in the realm of the spirit you hear people come to testify here it's not just about speaking brothers and sisters don't delay your life by yourself our time is gone but we'll go pray for five minutes rise up everybody can we rise up and pray please rise up and pray rise up we're going to pray prayer point number one father help me to be serious with you genuinely lift your voice and pray please pray Zabragata gato sata fredi ana malakato zapi. Sabraba sata balakoria sata balatus. Mambra gato sabratus keleba husi ana maladabash. Sabragato sata prete kete kola tabata sada balada balada balada. hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two i like you to pray genuinely and say lord in any way i have not aligned genuinely i align by faith i align by faith lift your voice and pray Rande sabaroko to shobra diskala bus. Zikete kosa kabaroto shobri anda kala balara bus. Shabra taka tabratis. It's how greatness happens in the kingdom, brothers and sisters. Do 
through authority, through alignment, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. So I have no job just walk with him just walk with him if you were working five years ago all your salary put together would not be more than six million walk with him guys the Holy Spirit fortunately from next week I'm starting a series the Lord has allowed me to take a series we're taking a series on the Holy Spirit a complete I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people. The Holy Spirit. You ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent. I went to Harvard. You ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child. Hi. Will I ever be able to leave him? I know you are looking at me is because I'm the, I'm the part of the deal that is visible but behind me I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see I'm not ashamed of it oh. there is one who is mighty mighty there is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see if it is the Lord's doing remember then it must be marvelous if it's a man's doing then it is natural scientific but the moment it becomes Marvelous, it is the Lord's doing. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hey. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, value is defined by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for walking with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to walk with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. But one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. Ah. How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? How do you look at someone who is dead 
and bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have ridden you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth i told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of god you don't just honor a body you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace has separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, I, I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah holy spirit it's grace and glory i trust that god will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the holy spirit hallelujah yes the holy spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people seven people seven people seven people Call your people, oh God. It's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy. The sister outside, for he will be real to you. Real to you by his spirit. This is not an issue of jamboree. It's not an issue of feeling anointed. It's walking with a person. It will make your life a wonder. A wonder. A wonder. He will make your life a wonder. He will not just give you anointing. He will walk with you. Walk with you. So you become an effulgence of that grace. Then you can say that which we have seen. That which we have heard. That which our hands have heard. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your Son and living your Spirit, your work in my life is done. I thank you. Oh, my Father, for giving me your Son and me your Spirit, your Word on earth. Please sit down if you can. 
the third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom please I want you to be very sensitive we'll soon arise to pray sensitive I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lady. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful what's me will always provide for me praise you allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit, Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle, it's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Shabrakatos kelabrande katai. Lekatekos sotopadia. Lift them, O oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. Lifting. Lifting, he's raising you, raising you by his spirit, raising you. There is an unction that makes this possible, raising you by his spirit. I hope I'll be able to finish this. The mysteries of the kingdom that's the third thing that you must seek to know not just the word of God not just Rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her please I want I want her to come overflow three I'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there please sit down let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk there are so many people you must access the mysteries of the kingdom everybody say mysteries a mystery is a secret code of operation the kingdom of god operates based on systems and you see these mysteries contained in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power the first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles the second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship two dimensions of God's power so you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension the moment a principle is consistent with the character of God it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by God's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be 
in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration you know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom but what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility because the bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back but do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible are we together do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy yes you know that divine healing is a possibility but what controls it laying on of hands no no laying on of hands is just a channel the inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that are we together now you have to understand the power of god is released through light remember the scripture habakkuk there was the hiding place of his power are we together when you understand that you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them it doesn't even have to be a miracle service the very understanding you have will respond to a man's need the same way if i stand with you and i have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if i have tuberculosis and you stand near me must i believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now i'm standing close to you it vetoes whether i agree with you i can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if i can transfer sickness why can i not transfer health are you seeing that now that means i can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you life being the light of men you see that that's the concept of whatsoever is born of god not whosoever whatsoever is born of god can overcome not by jacking yourself and understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting god all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but god's god's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see he says with god with god watch this i've taught you alone it is impossible but with god with god alone i cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with god all things all things all things are possible i want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the lord god of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs nigeria not the power that governs un the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know god number two that's redemption and everything that concerns god in the person of jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the holy spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery i believe that has been known by very few and i truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that god has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery 
of the body of Christ. This strategy called the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not just people. The body of Christ. Many people say the body of Christ is not just a church. They are people. The body of Christ is not people. The body of Christ is a strategy. The only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia, the body of Christ. The body of Christ is not a people. It's a strategy. That's why he said, I will build it. I will build it. He didn't say, I will make it. I will build it like a formula, like a plan. And I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it. There is a formation that the body of Christ is built. It is so formidable. The gate of hell can only touch members, not the body. The body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell. Are we together? Never forget this. Many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 30. Remember, for this cause, many are weak. Many are sickly. It is for these causes. There is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God. He said, for this cause, many are weak, limited. For this cause, many are sickly. And for this cause, many sleep. When was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body? That's what killed him. Please pay attention. Get my teachings discerning the body. That whole series. You have to listen. If you are in ministry here or you are a church leader, a deacon, you have to listen to it. If not, you will never rise. A body has thou prepared for me. It was prepared to be used. A formidable strategy that beats hell hands down. It's called the body of Christ. Everything is available in the body. Listen carefully. So if it is not available in your life, it is available in the body. You have to learn that. Any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God. It is only the possibility of my experience. But that reality is available. Are we together now? Yes. Son of man, can these bones live? And Ezekiel said, this is not a possibility within my frame of reality. He says, let me show you. The body. The body. This body is a mystery. It was built with a formula. Christ being the chief cornerstone. Immediately after Christ, two strange ministries, the apostolic and the prophetic, then the building rises. You must follow that formula to be formidable. It is the building of the body. So when you see a man telling you, you don't need any man in your life. Don't depend on any man. It's only God. They are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship. But that's a destructive revelation that will kill you. Because please listen to my message. I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study. We'll begin to pray. Listen carefully. I told you that there are mantles and there are systems. Remember the teaching? Yes. A system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization. It's called a system. So in every dispensation, there is a way and manner God wants to be known. And the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant. Your relationship with God, your spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenant. So when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation, he finds a man. Listen, he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive, he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation. No one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system. This is how the kingdom is. Abraham represents the system of the blessing. The journey of a believer's blessing starts from him. System. Are we together now? Elijah represents God's system of purifying 
and preparing men for revival elijah is not a man elijah is a system i've taught you this the first manifestation of the spirit of elijah was seen in noah elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the lord the moment there is a visitation upon a people elijah must come that's why elijah is still alive god's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival for the move of god is called elijah it's a system the man elijah died he's simply a man named after the system the system continues the antichrist is a system not just a person you see that peter a system that represents faith systems on earth today there are men who are not just human beings but systems when you trace the ministry of the holy spirit it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth today right now it will end with Benny Hinn. you see that Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle he's a system he represents that possibility no one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body this is called the mystery of discerning the body Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity start from any point in the world you will start moving from mantle to mantle grace to grace and it will land back in him there are many systems like that you will never get this through prayer and fasting no matter how you pray God will lead you to those people he will give you encounters but he will lead you there is a system I have provided it is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities how much of the body do you know imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body discerning the body is different from destiny helpers destiny helpers are not systems destiny helpers they may not even be born again they are just people that god anoints to help you get to your destiny there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial he says even among the stars one different from another in glory not in shape in glory hallelujah praise the lord if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been healed since if you had discernment for the body you probably would have been blessed since many people want to be rich but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility there is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now i can't criticize papa Ia Deboy and bishop oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes is impossible carry posters everywhere it will not happen there is a system this is not publicity it's a spiritual reality so in honor of what they represent i am authorized to access that reality that's why you are here tonight let me tell you something listen carefully you see this thing you call koinonia koinonia is not a ministry koinonia is a system you have to believe this it's a system it's not a movement it's not a fellowship it's not a group it's a system it's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of god i, I want you to be very hopeful so that when you come you don't have to be afraid there is something about the atmosphere so no matter how far you are you have come to mount zion certain things happen this is not just some human bragging a man of god trying to shine his ministry no tonight you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God please listen to me you're standing face to face with a reality 
that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you are about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him to make an altar call quickly right now everyone stand there are people here overflow one two three following us online in this place right now the bible says this life is in his son you don't hear about the son and receive life you meet the son there are people standing here men and women scattered around you are a pastor leader deacon gentleman lady old young rich poor regardless of your status jesus said ye must be born again there are people here who have not met jesus we have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the holy spirit in this place you are here inside and outside you have heard what i said and whilst i was speaking the spirit of god the one we so honor was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happened somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it 
I want you to come. The first sets of people can come out. When they come and here is full, then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows, just close to your projector. But I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Right now, one. Quickly. Quickly run to Jesus. From the depth of your heart. You can keep standing. You don't have to lie down or kneel down. God bless you. You don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Man of God, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. I remember coming out for altar call one day. But right now, I'm not sure. No, if you are not sure, you have to come out. When a woman is pregnant, she knows. You are not sure, join them. Something is wrong with what happened to you. Three, are you coming? Apostle, I'm trying to come out, but my neighbor is stopping me. We rebuke that spirit trying to stop you. Come out, come to Jesus. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you. I think we have enough people inside now. Every other person that comes, just direct them to their various overflows outside. Those coming from outside, you can wait there now. In every moment, I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You, you love Jesus Christ? Come. I'm seeing you. You are not working well. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now called me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and ulcer. My back pain here from the back here down to my leg. Everything. Yes. I'm feeling the pain very well. That is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here. So that is why I came here. Mommy, look at me. Every one of them. You heard what I said? Everyone will leave you here and you will go back to Abuja. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes. Of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ and all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, Thy sins be forgiven. And people say, Ah, what is this? And Jesus said, Which is easier? Hi! That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy it's not just recitation are we together mama i'll pray for you go back and join them those of you standing here the overflow lift your right hand and sincerely you are not reciting a point from the depth of your heart i want you to say this after me say lord jesus no some of you are crying but don't worry jesus sees your tears say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today 
the Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to do something for me very quickly please cooperate with all the people um, whether outside any of the overflows there is a gentleman waving his hands some um, of the uh, ushers there i want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam i will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we are going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night and i want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes god it doesn't take time it only takes god very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shabratas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one. Lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent such a strong anointing in this place tonight lift your hands and just be silent please i'm seeing two numbers five and one and the lord is saying there are 51 people here 51 people he's bringing massive 
deliverance to their families i want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of god that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now i stretch my hands in the name of the lord god whose i am and whom i serve right now i release the ministry of angels mighty deliverance right now bring them out the fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Shalapakuratai. Legretos Kobri Shalabaria Tako. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. Shigala Parakoto Soto Balada. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Second in Akata, keep your hands lifted. Malekete pekete la kaya. Ay, 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 mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty young. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep. Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. I release upon it the power to perform. Shakatakata. Those influences. In the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence, limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all. You reign, you reign, Kadosh, you are mighty on the Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, Jesus. I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. The gate must open. 
tonight is a miracle service i prophesied the two lift gate be open the two lift gate many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit i tell you i see gates gates of destinies gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft gates over families no progress no results i come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing gates be open gates be open gates be open gates be open listen listen to me a gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirit that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three I open it. I open it. I open it. Online, outside. I command it to open. I command it to open. Locked by ancestry. Locked by divination. Locked by necromancy and projection. Manipulation of the constellations. I command in the name of he that holds the key of David I command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the Spirit of God is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the Spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a lady quickly there's no time to speak our time is gone we have to pray for the sick but i'm seeing a lady you have two sisters two of them are barren they are married no children please where are you is part of your prayer request you are wearing a black dress you are the one come ah there's witchcraft in your family look at me come you are a great lady but there is terrible witchcraft in your family there is a lady again the Lord is opening my eyes I don't know why this happens I'm seeing a map Benway 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 people get ready Benway 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 I see Benway and the Lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway I stretch my hands right now the anointing of the spirit visiting people Benway 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 by the spirit of God by the spirit of god hear me and i'm hearing in my spirit break the covenant of motherhood i don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women i arrest it right now in the name of jesus i see fire dropping right now people from benway you are from benway you come under this influence please help that yes. benway benway the spirit of the living God the spirit of the living God traveling to Benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land release the destinies tied with you 
Listen, what I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees. And the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Hallelujah. The supernatural, I've taught you, operates only in partnership with five elements. Listen. Without one or more of these elements, the supernatural cannot find expression. Guy, I'm seeing a wild, this is a serpent. I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again. I'm seeing a serpent. I stretch my hands. The Bible says, for the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Now listen carefully. Five elements of the supernatural. Number one is light. The supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light. Number two, the air, sound. The supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound. Number three, the earth. The earth is a universal point of contact. Every living thing makes contact with it. Number three, are we together? Number four, water. The mystery that bears witness. Water is not an entity. Water is history. Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is God can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you. The Lord is asking me to break delay. Please just follow me. We are coming to the sick people. But just follow me tonight. Let's walk circumspectly. I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down. They cannot move. You are here no matter what you do. There is no progress. This is the story of your family. Look at me. The Lord wants to visit you first. Even before your family. Your two sisters, they are married. No child. Are you married? You are not married. We have to pray. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you, but God is raising you to be a savior in your family. Believe this thing, no. You may not look like it, but it is the spirit of Deborah. But first and foremost, you must be delivered first. God is not finished with her. I command that devil, go. There is no hiding in his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God whom I serve, I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now over your sisters, over your life and over your family. I command them to be broken right now. I release upon you grace for restoration in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men. I release that grace upon you. I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them. Even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh, the Lord comes for them with strange visitations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now all those under the anointing, I command the spirits. Any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims. Therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent his majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One. Two, three, be gone. Go. 
out of their lives destinies now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life is not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening thank you Jesus let the word of God come upon this prophecy are you ready now number one are you ready number two now I want you to get ready that grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run overtaking the chariot of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready shout Jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement I command you to advance I command you to move forward I break limitations I break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you our God is greater our God is stronger God you are higher than many other. help me our God is healer awesome in power Oh, 
towards me. Don't lift it up. Stretch it towards me. There is, there is going to be an activation of strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Gift. The time for impartation will come. But fire is living and it's coming upon people and the Lord said let them stretch their hands in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands back to you in the name of Jesus gifts, gifts, gifts don't man gifts don't man gifts where is it? I call it forth now don't man gifts don't man gifts you may not know it's there I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit I'm talking of potentials gifts, gifts I stir it up right now like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko 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 reke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange. Like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this room. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer. And you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate me. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now inside inside it's a strange miracle coming for that person the ninth row supernatural manifestation of the power of God my sister what do you want the Lord to do in your life uh -uh. you are just generalizing huh I'm looking at you and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it do you believe you can are you married huh where's your husband did you come with him what do you want the lord to do for him see this man is your real prayer point. that's that's you want the lord to honor him and what what is he doing now i'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place that has been your desire go and tell him that a man of god has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 I wish we had time today, but we have to pray for the sick. I want us to leave this very fast because I'm going to counsel. Well, just leave her. I found a person, but, but you come. My dear, I want to pray. Who is this? No, 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 no. It's not just any grace. I'll pray for you. My dear, lift your hands. God wants to visit your family. 
there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this row lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe tears madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Oppo. where is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn to come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is too free madam where is your child did you come with your child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go in the name of witchcraft. Now, on you right now. Jesus Christ, in the Jesus Christ, lift your hand. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray Kai one of the things listen hold on I'm seeing now I want you to believe it I just looked up and I started hearing the cry of I see babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted I wanted to move and I just lifted my eyes and the Lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in I want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise God if you are standing alone you must be married in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit please stand you can go you can go Pastor Alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody I notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. We, receive we receive your visitation, your visitation. in the name of jesus name of we, receive we receive miracles signs, signs. And, wonders. and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith and trust the power of god to touch you 
we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of god is there to touch you in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why i came here because i saw that this woman your issue is not just healing hold on i saw the, her holding pictures and a passport and then i'm looking at it and i saw a plane is it something like you were staying outside the country is that true yes sir. because i'm seeing a woman a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the lord is opening my eyes i'm seeing another vision i'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you yes sir. he drove yes sir. from where from abroad where is abroad Qatar. from where where is he this is you Oh my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other man. We are together in our blood. We are together. Are, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So the he married me. another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, he drove you away with the baby. Yes, sir. No, he, uh, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now said to come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect, but you see why ladies will tell you people. To marry people who are born again not just people who have money huh don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe one bag and just carry you around like that it must be godly look at what this man did for this woman one week and left her with this innocent child so where are you staying now i'm staying out in abuja so my it's sister. from abuja you came yes sir what do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman. Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife. Yes, sir. And she still came and married. Yes, my dad is also yes, sir. Where's your dad? Daddy. Please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a business state. You are suffering. Bye. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this this brothers and sisters believe it or not is what witchcraft looks like are you seeing this whether you are in Qatar or wherever if that spirit is not destroyed this is what it will do because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman but she didn't look if you see this woman does she look like somebody who has gone abroad I'm not insulting you you can see that this woman was not even treated well suffered with the man now we went abroad and sent her back when this baby now if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby when this baby becomes responsible the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back then they will now accuse men of god and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid you are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes 
the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of God. You do anything to try to help this baby now, you'll be in trouble. Are we together? Holy Shell, help me. You're the God of awesome one. Hey, you stood up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text. And the man is giving her a dirty slap. Slap on her face. The Bible said, What God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made Hadassah look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me because i'm seeing one mama coming to you in abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody she told you he's a man of god he's a native doctor don't go anywhere huh? and number two anybody that says you should bring one naira what did i say one naira for prayer just thank him and walk away if, if this poor woman you still collect money from her for prayer then you must be a very wicked person isn't it in the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you working? What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor. So when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to be, I mean, the things so tough, the, the attacks and the foundation, it became so strong. So I took up. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, you would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal and just say i am anointed be careful as powerless as satan is is your understanding that this the powers him if you don't have that understanding you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed praise the lord my brother hold my hands i'm not just seeing you doing ministry truly you need help eh? you need help after service come and see this man pastor alpha eh? after service come and see him he will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you in the name of jesus christ a time of prophecy and activations some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction in your ministries your lives your businesses the prophetic word of God is very powerful when there is grace back in it because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace walking 
in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace on two of you supernatural grace of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah benga come grace for another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension you speak and there is power of performance power of performance power of performance power of performance no word will be empty you speak and there's grace and the power of performance hallelujah someone come and hold victor come come and hold them um, somebody grace supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension a dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of jesus supernatural grace i open up that level grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ, name of jesus christ. where shall they we're rounding up they are doing their please someone Hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. Speaking, we have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace. To Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus Christ, fresh fire, I'm not, it's not like I'm just speaking people, this is, this is just by the Spirit, come, the Lord is bringing glory on you. fresh fire, even upon your hands, in the name of Jesus Christ, listen, is it? Hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire, may that grace take a drink of that wine in the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. I open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit under that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave, leave it there. In the name of Jesus judgment upon that devil foul spirit hallelujah we're out of time but i want you to receive let me start with the men of god you are in ministry here it's time to take something heavy and something genuine let me pray Jaffa, come come i'm seeing it a new age truly new grace and a new wine new grace and a new wine a supernatural dimension dimension this grace will speak in unbelievable ways lord bring him into that experience in the name of jesus truly bring him into that experience i open up i open up i open up closed fountains i open up now closed fountains I open up now fire 
fresh grace for influence 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 business influence new grace new dimensions of wealth influence commanding miracles strange miracles collect that child from hope collect that child from hope in the name of Jesus fresh fire hope I activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of Jesus God is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of Jesus where's Aaron Aaron where's Aaron in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ something is coming strong go the unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried never to be buried where's Yerima head of department media please come quickly quickly I'm praying where is he oh that's him there in the name of Jesus the Lord says he's bringing you honor untold honor untold honor by the spirit of the living God untold honor untold honor untold honor now I decree and declare Jordan where's Jordan Jordan bookstore I hear restoration where are you restoration fire that restoration fire in the name of Jesus everything the canker worm the palmer worm has stolen restoration in the name of Jesus now I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed receive it now receive it now speed 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 by the unction of the Spirit speed by the unction of the Spirit speed in the name of Jesus hallelujah every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now Where's Pastor Alpha's wife? Just hold her there. She's heavy. So in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying, have I not said I will bring you favor? It will manifest. God is bringing favor. After you give birth to your child, Pastor, your family will step into a strange level of favor. It will be at the commencement of this boy's birth, or this child. The moment the child is born, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will be strange miracles. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you. The kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life, I declare, receive it now. Receive it right now. All your tithes, your giving, God has released the blessings, but something has hijacked it in the realm of the Spirit. Jabakatos Kebranda. I command a release of your harvest. I command a release of your harvest. I command a release of your harvest. Whatever was not working in your life before you came here, I decree by the Spirit of the Living God, go back to it 
and watch it work in a way that will shock you whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately I say it again whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you to make sure that you die or any bad news from your family I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travels she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are walking and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your word life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with 
who he did not lift God who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore I speak to your life the God who has gloriously lifted this ministry the God who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit i pray in the name of jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to i decree and declare be lifted now in the name of jesus be lifted now in the name of jesus i speak to your business whatever you do be lifted now in the name of jesus i speak to your ministry be lifted now in the name of jesus they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i say restore i prophesy restore in the name of jesus wave your hands and give jesus all the praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you are telling to these words as I well you that you will keep like these message. words in the midst of your heart something that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on this world and as you have been blessed for him we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you on to life and don't forget to like for us, the subscribe Thank button. You.